This is Benjamin Ross, your Texas Realtor, and today we are going to take a look at a Fannie Mae foreclosure listed with Remax. Now this is a four bedroom, three and a half bath home, just over 2,900 square foot of living space. It's got a huge backyard. Asking price, three one nine nine. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, okay, we are out here at 5013 West Highland Avenue in McAllen, Texas. Now this is a uh, Remax listing uh, with uh, Randy uh, Clausen is the listener. Uh, again, I'm Benjamin Ross. I'm showcasing uh, this property. Let's take a look at this neighborhood real quick before we go inside and take a, a look at, uh, inside the home. I'm gonna pan around. We're gonna take a look at the neighborhood. Man, it's a beautiful morning. It is absolutely a beautiful morning. Uh, it's a quiet neighborhood. Um, this house was built in 2014. So uh, you're gonna see uh, a lot of these houses uh, uh, built kind of around that era. Very Spanish style. Um, landscaped. And take a look at the front of this house. This very grand brick home. Um, you can see the Spanish tile up there and I'll give you a closer look uh, later on. Um, but just take a look. We got a two-car garage. Now this home was built in 2014. This is a four-bedroom, three and a half bath. Uh, square footage, uh, 2,912 square feet of living space. So, you know, it's a pretty good size home. Now, this is a Fannie Mae foreclosure, so you can expect that there's um, going to be some things that need to be done to the home. Uh, usually the foreclosures uh, don't have the upgrades, uh, have things that need to be done. Um, a lot more so than when we see homes listed with a seller. But I'm going to go ahead and pan down. Isn't that awesome? Let's go ahead and go inside. Um, we got a nice, uh, nice big eight foot door, a uh, double door. So uh, you can open up, you move in, you have your furniture, not a problem. We come in, uh, as you can see, the house is vacant, have a big echo. Uh, to my right is uh, the formal dining room. Again, look at these high ceilings. Wow. Inset lights. Spanish style chandelier. Uh, looks like somebody left their uh, TV mount on there. Must have left in a hurry, maybe. You never know with these foreclosure properties. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go straight. Let me just see what I wanna show you first. We have the half bathroom here. Uh, this is just for guests as they come in the house. Uh, they need to use the bathroom. Um, that'll be for them. Look, little inset uh, uh, decorative pieces for uh, you can display in your hallway. Uh, and here we have another little area, a chandelier, and I'm gonna assume it's kind of like for like a, maybe a breakfast nook or just something, a small table, maybe two chairs, uh, maybe for kids to have their cereal or whatever. And I'm gonna pan around and we're gonna take a look at the kitchen. Pretty good sized kitchen. And then um, here again, we have uh, another dining area. Uh, we have TV mounts. Gosh, there's probably like a lot of money just in TV mounts in this place. I'm gonna pan around, dining room, and then we're gonna go kitchen, and then we're looking back at the front entryway there. Okay, so let's go into the kitchen. We have, uh, looks like built-in Magtag ovens. Um, you know, nice cabinetry. Uh, has some detail to it um, I like that plenty of room um, electric cooktop built in yeah, I prefer gas I think most people do but it is what it is um, countertop I'm not crazy crazy about it I'll tell you honestly uh, we have a sink just your basic sink remember this is a foreclosure and to bring those of you up to speed uh, it is uh, we are at 5013 West Highland Avenue in McAllen, Texas. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath foreclosure. Asking price, 319 
nine. So again, this is a foreclosure, so we're not gonna see a lot of the updates and a lot of the cool features uh, that we see uh, with homes that are listed uh, with sellers. So uh, we need some updates here. This sink is, you know, your standard sink. We could definitely use a, uh, a, a bigger sink. Um, we're gonna come around here. Here's our pantry. Um, and I'll, I'll, let me give you a view from the kitchen into the dining room. So we have that open concept. I really like that. Of course, most houses these days do. Um, we have our pantry. And one of the things I like about these pantries, it's a walk-in pantry. And I tell you, there's a huge difference. It, it may not hold all that much more, but just the fact that you can actually walk in the pantry versus just reaching in, just gives it just a, a, such a, a bigger feel to it. And you could probably put maybe some more things, uh, store more things on the floor. Okay, um, regular thermostat. This is our laundry room. Uh, we have a sink, uh, pretty standard. Uh, I like that it has plumbing to it. Uh, some cabinets, washer and dryer hookup. Um, up there, I think that's where your attic crawl space is. And uh, pan down, we got the laundry room. We're gonna come back over here. Um, this house has an alarm system, so uh, I'll take a look and kind of give you guys a little bit of a, a feel of the garage here. Uh, standard garage, two-car garage, and again, an, another TV mount. <laughs> these, these people had TVs just all over the place. Um, it looks like maybe a 50-gallon water heater. TV mount, electrical box, uh, two-car garage. Again, nothing out of the ordinary, but remember it is a foreclosure and I've seen foreclosures that are just absolutely terrible. So um, this house is actually not bad for being a foreclosure. And we have, uh, again, um, year built 2014 and we have 2,912 square feet. Very nice um, custom blinds. Uh, as you can see, we have the archway coming through. Uh, I love arches, I think it's just great. We have uh, some bedrooms. Um, in a little hallway to my right, there's a bedroom, and, and it has an attached bathroom, and I like that. Um, you don't see uh, a whole lot of rooms within, a, a secondary rooms with an attached bathroom, but there is. Uh, don't pay any attention to me. And look, at a nice big shower, especially for a secondary uh, bedroom. That is just very cool. Now, if you have kids, the kids are going to be really happy. Uh, again, another TV mount. We have the uh, double uh, door closet, which definitely beats the old sliding doors that we used to have. Um, as you can see, it opens up. Built-in cabinets or shoe rack, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to come back out of the room down the hallway. Okay, and then let's see, uh, to my right, eh, we have another little bedroom. And even in the bedrooms, look, we have just a nice um, ceiling decor, built-in shelves in the closet, a uh, hallway bathroom, nothing too awful spectacular, but nice. And our third bedroom, double door closets, and now you're facing back out to the mini hallway here on this side of the house. We're gonna go ahead and walk to the other side and take a look at the master bedroom. Now I'm walking back through, I'm going uh, into the uh, dining room, kitchen area. We're gonna go back to the front entryway. Remember when we walked in, we had a dining room on our right. And then to our left as we're walking into the home, we have this little semi-private uh, formal dining room. I guess it could be a game room. Um, you have semi-privacy, so you have a, you could kind of make it maybe a little office. Uh, we have the nice uh, horizontal uh, blinds. Again, the TV mount. Uh, in the ceiling here, uh, we can see uh, linear beams, which is a little bit different than throughout the house. I'm gonna just pan down, and we're gonna pan around this way, and I'm looking out to the house. Uh, this house was built in 2014, 
2,912 square feet. And it's a three and a half bath, four bedroom home, listing price, three nineteen nine. dollars So Remax listing, um, nice high ceilings. Now, uh, some work's gonna have to be done to this, some upgrades. We're gonna have to kind of bring it up to speed a little bit. This would be a great project because it's not gonna cost a whole lot of money um, to, to fix up compared to other foreclosures. Um, I've bought in some terrible foreclosures that just, just drained my wallet. This one is, is not so bad. It's not gonna take a whole lot of money to fix this one up. Uh, we're in the master bedroom, by the way. Uh, yeah, big open room, uh, pretty much square. I don't see any um, kind of angled or accents or anything like that. Uh, just kind of a big square room. What I do like is the bathroom in the closet. Now the bathroom is just huge. You, you, it's like its own room in itself. You have the his and her sinks. Um, you have a big mirror. Um, we had a shower, now the shower is dirty. Remember, this is a Fannie Mae foreclosure, so we're not gonna expect to see um, everything pristine. Um, but let's take a look at the shower. I like how they did the shower. It has a um, kind of a, a, a linear uh, glass uh, that just gives it, you know, just a, a, a kind of neat um, dimension. And it's not something that you see a whole awful lot of. It only has a one spout, so it's not a multi-spout. So, you know, that can always be remedied. Okay, and then we're gonna keep walking and we come back here and we come back to a huge walk-in closet. Look at the size of this closet. I mean, it is big. We have built-in uh, built cabinets, built-in shelves. Now, one thing that I like about this closet is that as you can see here, it has a little cabinet island just kind of to itself. You have uh, some drawers, uh, you know, me, rings, watches, whatever uh, you need to grab quickly before you uh, go out to work. Um, but yeah, you have a little kind of island here. And what is that? You have more counter space, which I probably don't need because that'll just end up cluttered, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm in the rear of the bathroom and we'll walk back out to the uh, bathroom. Again, big bathroom. Uh, we have the two sinks. Um, and our toilet over this way. Nice big walk-in shower. Um, no tub here in this bathroom, just a walk-in shower. Uh, we come back out into the master bedroom. Um, just a very big grand house, high vault, high vault of ceilings. Let me give you a shot of the ceilings. We have some inset lights. As we come down into the entryway here. There again, that's the formal dining room you're seeing in front of you. Uh, we're gonna go uh, left and let's just take a look at the backyard Come back. Here's the kitchen. So I think you guys are probably getting a feel for the house um, This back door probably needs to be uh, Replaced or at least repainted as you can see uh, this house probably could use a, a fresh paint job so we come out here to the uh, the back porch and we got a little uh, little covered porch little ceiling fan not a lot of space though. Um, I would prefer maybe a little bit more space because I'm always out there um, grilling and uh, barbecuing and smoking things. This definitely would not be big enough for me. Um, but for those of you that maybe don't spend a whole lot of time doing backyard stuff, uh, otherwise it can always be added on. That's what I love about houses. Uh, if you don't like it, you can always change it. You can always add on, you can always improve it. And uh, let me walk out. We have a giant backyard. Now this backyard has just lots of possibilities because you can uh, do a number of things. Uh, swimming pool, plenty of room for kids, plenty of room for animals. And I'm gonna go ahead and pan around and you can kind of see it has some palm trees and uh, somebody took time to kind of partially landscape the back of this house. Um, every palm tree is decorated with, uh, with uh, flowered bushes. It uh, gives it a nice uniform tropical appearance. Again, side of the house or our AC condenser uh, over there. And then um, check out the Spanish tile. And I just love Spanish tile. This house does have a beautiful roof and, and as many of them do in this neighborhood. Um, pan around the side of the house. Let's take a look at the backyard from another angle here. And it is, I mean, it is a big, now sometimes things on camera look bigger than what they really are. We all know this. Uh, this is really big, so uh, it is big. 
plenty of space. And uh, for those guys uh, or ladies who uh, don't mind mowing, uh, you'll have quite a bit of mowing and, and uh, weed trimming to do here. Okay, and this is the, the back porch. Again, I think it's a little bit small for the covered porch. Um, that can always be um, fixed though. There's, there's a, a contractors that could just make this a, a really nice um, backyard patio to watch football. Again, back door probably needs to be replaced. I'm gonna take you guys um, to, the, uh, to the front of the house and we'll kind of just wrap up the video there. I'll give you another look at the neighborhood and the front of the house. And again, just to sum everything up here, we are at 5013 West Highland Avenue. Um, it's a, a four bedroom, three and a half bath, 2,900 square foot home. And a beautiful, uh, beautiful subdivision. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pan around. Again, give you guys a video showing you the neighborhood. We'll walk down the street here, kind of come back, and voila, there you have it, 5013 Highland Avenue. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour here at uh, 5013 um, Highland Avenue in McAllen, Texas. Again, four bedroom, three and a half bath, a little over 2,900 square foot uh, home, nice home. Um, if you have any questions about this home or any other home, if you have questions about real estate in general, I'm an easy man to get a hold of. You can email me, mrbenross at gmail.com. You can go to my website, www.myactiveagent.com. I'm very easy to get a hold of. Phone number 361-413-9812. Um, feel free if you have questions about this home, if you'd like to take a look at this home, let me know. I hope you all have a great, what is it? I guess um, today it would be a hump day because it's Wednesday. You all have a great hump day out there. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.